Hi guys, and uh, yeah, yowie wowie. I've, uh, I'm, I'm shocked. I am. I'm really shocked right now. Uh, so basically, uh, <laughs> this is breaking news within the last hour. Um, I was actually heading home from work, and uh, yeah, I checked on my phone, and I, I can't believe it. Bray Wyatt has been released from WWE, from WWE, from WWE, they have released him from his WWE contract, and I, I can't believe it, he's, he's gone, Bray Wyatt is gone, and I, I'm shocked, I'm angry, and I'm, I'm confused, and I'm really disappointed, I, I'm just, uh, obviously we don't know why this has happened, but um, maybe it's just make, make them making budget cuts, Maybe because of um, he was really, I think he was in a really bad place because of Brody Lee's death. Sadly, uh, when well, the back, the actor who played Luke Harper, you know, he was in a really bad place. You know, that's why he's. I think he took time off after after WrestleMania thirty seven. We haven't seen him since WrestleMania thirty seven since that awful match with Randy. And I thought he was just taking time off. He was going to come back at some point later on this year. And but no, Bray Wyatt is gone. The Fiend is gone. No more in WWE. And I'm shocked and gutted. Because Bray was one of my favourite guys for the past few years. I loved him. I loved him back when he was the um, the Easter of Worlds character with the cult, you know, with Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, Braun Strowman. It was great. So they were so great together. They were they how all of them so unusable apart from Braun Strowman eventually. But uh, now he's Braun Strowman's got got released, didn't he? And the Wyatt family, of course, are no more. Eric Eric Rowan got released, didn't he? Of course, Bruce Lee sadly passed away. Braun Strowman got released earlier this year, and now Bray Wyatt. So the Wyatt family are all gone. From you know. And I love Bray. He was one of my top. He was one of my one of my top guys. Like Samoa Joe, and the Fiend were like two of my top guys. Now Samoa Joe, I know, I know he's come back and he's in NXT again. But um, but Bray's gone. I'm gutted. You know, I had so many Bray Wyatt t-shirts. Like this was the first t-shirt of the Fiend I bought back when they made the me made the debut. I've got like three other Fiend t-shirts. I've got like two Bray Wyatt t-shirts. He was one. Of, he was one of my top guys, and he he was one of the most talented performers in the whole company. And he he just got shat on over and over again with terrible booking over the last what six seven years and oh see so i'm on currently uh what is this a uh, ringside news and um, this is what it says so wwe have made a lot of cuts in recent memory but this one is monumental bray wyatt has been released from his contract adding a huge name to that list of recent firings yeah the company has confirmed that bray wyatt has been released the former WWE champion hasn't been seen since the Raw after WrestleMania. Oh yeah, of course he did that segment, didn't he? Where Wyatt hoped for a fresh start. Obviously the Five Five Funhouse match, and then he the Five Five Funhouse, uh, and we never saw that. That will not happen in WWE now. Um, so Bray Wyatt has been with WWE since two thousand nine. He was the first. He was first introduced as Husky Harris, of course. Um, but then that character was shipped back to NXT, and the Wyatt family gimmick was then invented. And he eventually returned to the main roster, surrounded by Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. <sighs> this is a big shock, and we're working to find out more information at this time. Wyatt was, Wyatt was involved in some fantastic stories throughout the years, and some not. <laughs> Most notably his recent run as The Fiend and the Firefly Funhouse character that accompanied it. Oh, the fact that Vince McMahon seemed to tease that WWE might be giving AEW more superstars in the future isn't lost on some fans either. I'm gutted. Yeah. Um, absolutely gutted. Uh, there were some comments. Uh, let's read a few. Uh, um, what? Uh, I'm done watching after this. You can't give AEW all my faves and expected me to keep on watching. Vince is an AEW fan. He's giving them all his favourite wrestlers because he knows the product is good. <laughs> this was in the works for months. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not surprised because I, I do think this was something like this was going to happen. You know, based on how badly they booked Bray for years. You know, even the Fiend. As much as I loved the Fiend, they they ruined his character on several occasions. As good as the Fiend got at some places, he had some great matches with I know Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan, Finn Balor. Um, John Cena at WrestleMania 36. The Braun Strowman feud was okay. You know, he became a two-time Universal Champion. Then Roman speared him at SummerSlam. Um, the feud of Randy Orton was cool when he got set on fire and all that. You know, but he had some terrible things too. You know, what, what the, the awful finish to the Hell in a Cell match with, with, with Seth in 2019. When he got squashed by Goldberg in Saudi Arabia last year. 
and then the, the awful, awful, awful finish to the Randy Orton match at WrestleMania 37, which was terrible. Like, even if they were booking him to have time off, he still should have won that match, losing to one RKO, and then that was it. Ugh, I see. I see. So yeah, uh, how do you screw up Bray Wyatt? Oh. Um, they did him no favours by how they booked him over the years, but he was still one of the most valuable wrestlers in the company. This makes no sense. Yeah, uh, Bray hasn't been right since Brody died. I honestly think Bray is going to retire from wrestling. Yeah, well, that is true. I did hear he was really struggling with mental health issues because of Brody Lee, because he was such good friends. They were such close friends, and I heard he was really struggling after Brody Lee passed away. You know, he did a big thing on Instagram, didn't he? And I heard he, you know, he, maybe he needed time off to recover from that. But I don't know what this is. Maybe it's just he needs time off from Brody Lee. There is a, a glimmer of hope that maybe we, 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 we will see Bray again sometime in the future. That he's not done. You know, look, look at Samoa Joe when he got released. Then they, they just brought him back on NXT a few months later. So maybe maybe Bray will come back at some point next year. Fingers crossed there'll be a big return, maybe at maybe at the Royal Rumble. You know, we will see. But I am I'm gutted right now. I'm really gutted that they dropped the ball with Bray so many times. You know, I've said all this in previous previous videos over the over the years, you know, what how many times they dropped the ball with him at you know his his WrestleMania losing streak, you know, WrestleMania thirty, losing to John Cena. Thirty one, Undertaker. Thirty two, he got made to look like a joke by the Rock and John Cena. Thirty three, he got beat by Randy Orton in that awful WWE title match where he lost the title. Um, WrestleMania thirty six was the only highlight really with the, the amazing, amazing Firefly Funhouse match with John Cena. Um, and of course, this year, first thirty seven, but that, like I've said, terrible match with Randy Orton again. It's just, I'm, I'm just gutted. I'm just, I'm so gutted, and I really do hope, obviously, that um, his real name's called Windham. I hope that he's he's okay. You know, I hope he whatever's going on with him. I hope he gets through it. Um, I'm just so gutted. But if if he is going to go to AEW, then good luck to him. Well, whatever he's got planned next, good luck to him. Because Bray, you were you deserved a lot better than what WWE gave you at times. You know, the Fiend was one of, was one of my favorite characters. In pro wrestling, it probably always will be. It'll be in the top five. That I I loved the Fiend, despite how badly they booked the book. They booked the character sometimes, and I, I'm just gutted. The guy was one of the best performers, one of the, one of the best actors in the company. He, the guy cut an amazing, amazing promos time and time again, especially as the Firefly Funhouse Bray. I'm I'm just gutted. I'm really am gutted, guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> people are there. How even? No clue how you blow that. Oh, and, and there was a recent post too. Where he a recent post where he looked in really good shape. Like he'd lost a lot of weight. He looked like he was in really good shape. That maybe he was going to make his in ring return. And then no, he he get he's, he's been released. So yeah, yowie yeah, wowie indeed. Um, what's what's next for Bray? What's next for him now? Is he going to well, with Bray Windham? That's what that's his real name, Windham Rotunda. What's next for him? It's a bit of a shock. You know, he was he was definitely hurt, hurting from Brody Lee's death. Um. But yeah, what well, let me just say, this is the straw that's broke the camel's back. Yeah. WWE will be sold soon to Disney or something dumb. Best creative wrestler in years and you release him. Clean WWE would rather release talent than do whatever they can to help Sash keep them. May the Wyatt family rise again somewhere better. You know, because all coffee all the Wyatt family are gone now. <sighs> yeah, we, we will see what happens, guys, but I, I'm gutted. Um, what are your thoughts on Bray Wyatt being released? Comment below, let me know. Um... It's going to take me a few days to get over this because I'm really good. I'm gutted because he was, he was on my top guys. I'm going to have to sell all my brain, brain merch now. Woo, no, no, I'm definitely going to keep it. But what are your thoughts, guys? Comment below. Let me know. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Man. But maybe he'll come back next year. Look, look at Samoa Joe. He got released. And I, was gutted. I was shocked and gutted about that. And then a few months later, he come, he's back at NXT. You know, and now he's main eventing a takeover again against Karrion Cross. So we, we will see. We will see. But Bray, I'm... All the best to whatever he's got planned in the future. But if he's going to go to AEW, I don't know. We will see. But I'm gutted. You deserve better, Bray. You deserve to. You deserve a lot better. Number numerous times. I just hope he gets. If he is going to come back at some point, he gets treated better. Or if he's going to go to AEW, we'll, we will see there. But yeah, guys, what are your thoughts on Bray Wyatt being released? Comment below. Let me know. And uh, yeah, one last time until he maybe he comes back. But yeah, one last time. Yowie wowie.